The Swedish public is on edge after a shooter who injured four people in the city of Malmo remains at large. Now, some of the latest pictures to show you of the police operation in the city following Sunday's shooting. Of course, these are early morning pictures. Forgive me, these are not the latest pictures. Eyewitnesses say around 20 gunshots were fired, possibly involving automatic weapons. Now, according to a recent report, Swedish security forces are failing to control the country's suburbs with so-called no-go zones, rising to as many as 55. The police force also facing a crisis. Three officers are resigning every day. We have a major crisis. Many colleagues are choosing to quit. A drastically worsened working environment means many colleagues are now looking for other work. Well, if indeed officers venture into these alleged no-go zones, they may face a number of risks. The police have reportedly been targeted by a verbal attacks when trouble flares up in the area. A number of uh, incidents have involved officers, officers being pelted with stones while squad cars have uh, been set ablaze or stolen. Vandalism, drug crimes and sex assaults are also reported dangers. Now these risks are listed on a leaflet issued by Hungary. Now, the pamph pamphlet claims that hundreds of completely lawless no-go zones exist in Europe, especially in Sweden. However, Sweden's embassy in Hungary has dismissed Budapest's claims, saying no such areas exist in the country. Well, the uh, T-tip deal, that's going to be an issue on RT International. It's between the U.S. and the E.U. It's set to affect the lives of people from both sides of the pond. But who's going to win more? More than likely, big business. That's all next in Sophie Coe.